Some things to consider if you're thinking about leaving your nine to five for trading. The very first thing is if you're feeling burnt out, no longer fulfilled by it and wanting like freedom over your time, then consider thinking about trading the stock market. The second is you don't want to start a business. You found yourself, you're burnt out and you've looked at all the different options. You don't want to go back to school. You don't want to transition into a company doing the same thing. And you also just don't want to start a business. Then trading the stock market could be an option for you to be able to use that as a vehicle of leaving your nine to five for good. The third is going to be, do you have the time to put into trading? Because you're going to be trading while you're still at your nine to five so that you can move your way to leaving the nine to five because the nine to five funds the escape plan. So you definitely want to stay until you get good at trading and you have a certain amount put away and you're making a decent amount in your trades. Then you can decide that you want to leave, but you don't want to do it before then. So you're going to want to make sure that you're in a position to be able to have that control over your time throughout the day at your nine to five to potentially just say, okay, I'm going to start having my lunch at this time throughout the day so that you can step away to be able to make trades, study, or whatever it is that you need to do so that you're making progress towards trading your nine to five. You're going to want to make sure that you do have the time, not only during the day while you're at work, but being able to set aside the time in the evenings to study as well and to look for trades is going to be very important. So if you find, if you are like super swamped, you don't have time for anything else on your schedule, let alone studying on how to get good at making money in the market, then it is not going to be a good idea for you to jump into this because you don't have the time. To think about it like a doctor that's wanting to become a surgeon, but he doesn't take the time to practice surgeries or sit in on them or study anything about them. Like you don't want to let someone like that become a surgeon if they're not putting in the time to hone in their craft. And so trading the market is the same way. You don't want to rely on that or try to rely on that for leaving your job and providing for you for a lifetime if you're not going to put in the time to get good at it. The other thing is going to be working alone. Like if you're the type of person that likes to work alone, you manage your time well, you get things done when you know you, they need to be done. You're not someone, you don't have to be checked behind and pushed or super encouraged. Like I understand needing encouragement from time to time. We all do. I do. But if you are not a self-starter, then trading the market is probably not going to be the best thing for you because you're not going to make yourself get in and do the work, especially when it gets hard, especially when you have to kind of face that maybe you're not doing something right. You're not going to have that in you. So you've got to be the type of person that is willing to do that and be that self-starter and okay with working alone and not having you know somebody there i personally just like like give me what i need to do whatever my job is and i'm gonna knock that out every time and i'm gonna be i mean you know i'm gonna do the best at it and then following systems if you're good at following systems like okay a step one a step two a step three then you're probably going to be good at trading the market because trading and investing requires having some type of system or a plan that you're following and following it every single time. That doesn't mean every trade is going to work out, but that means like you know exactly what you're doing every time you get in and every time you're getting out and what to look for. And of course, there are going to be those nuances in the market that happen, but you know that, okay, I have this overall plan that I am kind of sticking to. If you're that kind of person that like you thrive doing tasks that have a step-by-step, then trading the market could be a good thing for you as well. But you also kind of have to be flexible with that because there, are, again, like I said, there are some of those gray areas when it's the real time scenarios, right? Where you kind of have to flex like, okay, I know this is supposed to be step three, but because this happened, we're going to go back to step two, right? <laughs> there are times where that happens in the market where you do have to kind of flex depending on what's going on. So although you work well with the system, you do know how to kind of flex with it. And that will be kind of a superpower for you if you're able to do that. You want to be the type of person that can completely detach from what is actually happening or comes out of it, the results of it. Because with trading, sometimes Sometimes we can get enough feelings and feel some type of way when either a trade doesn't work out, we feel like the market is taking your money, you want a revenge trade. So it's great if you are someone that can detach yourself from like, hey, okay, I follow the system. This is, you know, it didn't work out. Like, 
okay, let me keep it moving, then that's going to serve you well with trading the market as well. All right. So the next thing that you want to think about in yourself is, are you a risk taker? Are you someone who's willing to do something different or do something that everyone isn't doing? Because one, just trading the market in general is going to be different than what everyone else around you is doing. So when I started, it was a lot of, what are you doing? What is that? We've never even heard about that. And so you want to be able to like quiet the noise and focus on the results. Let me focus on getting good at this because I know what it can bring. I know what's what's possible with it. And then deductive reasoning is going to be a good skill to have too. If you find that you are good at saying, okay, well, this happened, but I also know X, Y, and Z can affect, right? So if you're that kind of person that can, can analyze a situation like that, then that's going to be kind of a, a good superpower for you as well when you come into trading the market. If you're wanting to really take your trading to the next level, being able to do that kind of deductive reasoning while you're in a trade and looking at charts and saying, okay, well, this chart looks you know, slightly different than the last one because they're not all gonna look the same, but I do know this about my indicators and I know this about that stock and I know this about you know, the current market and the product that they're coming out with, and you can kind of build the story around the trade, it's going to help you to better analyze trades and have some better insights to like what could potentially happen next. Now, because we can't all, we're not going to 100% guess what a stock is going to do every time or what the market is going to do every time, but we can use our best estimate, right? By looking at the different things that are going on in the market, where the price and where the stock has moved before, how it's moved before, and any other indicators that are going on or anything else that's going on in the market, all right? The next thing is like, don't be afraid of math. <laughs> I think that is one of the first things that people talk about is like, I can't do this because there's so much math. I'm not good at math. I can't do this. The math on trading is not that bad. You're doing multiplication, addition, subtraction, and that's it. But if you're like someone that like clams up because there's just a little bit of multiplication that you have to do, then it's probably not going to be the best fit for you. But if you're okay with math and you're like, oh yeah, I can do that, then you'll be just fine. But that is what I wanted to share with you today. Things to look at and think about within yourself and your personal situation to find out or see if trading is the best fit for you for leaving your nine to five before you decide to kind of take that leap. All right, well, if you have any questions or if you think trade your nine to five could be the right program for you to trade your way away from your nine to five, definitely hit me up in either hit the link in my bio or shoot me a DM and we can discuss whether it's a good fit and how we can best help you reach your goals. So I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.